Friday, it's the AES show and I'm here on the ISO Acoustics booth with Dave, who's going to show me some new products. Uh, these all work on the same principle as the older ones, mm -hmm. which um, I have to say is very, very effective. So give us a, a recap on uh, why this exists and what it does that the others don't do or, or where it fits into everything. Great. Now this is the Aperta 300. It's okay. the latest version of the Aperta line. 300 millimeters by 200. Uh, 75 high, so it's still the same low profile. Once again, we've got the tilt adjustment, six and a half degrees of tilt with the little uh, thumb address adjusters there. So this is designed for studio monitors that are wider, like uh, Focal Trio, the Twin, or whatever. Still the same technology, the same approach, and just dealing with a little larger size and, and footprint. And this is a metal frame as opposed to the plastic frame you have uh, on some correct. of the other models. Yeah, this is all aluminium and. Uh, but uh, inside, the, the isolators are upgraded now, so there's a little better performance than the isolator series, but it's all based on the same principle. Okay, so uh, what about shipping and pricing on these? Yeah, these will be available next month. Mm -hmm. They're just coming over now. These are about <laughs> 100 and a half okay. uh, per, they're sold singly in the US. So about 300 a pair? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, is this the only size in this range, or are you doing several different sizes? No, this is a this is a size in this range. It'll be available in the aluminum color and the black. Okay, and I believe you also have something for the hi-fi companies yeah. or individuals. I mean, you're selling OEM parts as well as uh, end-user parts, aren't you? That's correct. And looking at it, I think the same thing would be applicable to someone doing mastering or some studio that has floor-standing monitoring. Yeah. So maybe you can show us this. Yeah, I'd be glad to. We're very, really excited about this. We've taken the basic principle, the basic technology, and we've broken, we've shrunk it down into a single unit. This model stainless steel, mm -hmm. and it goes up and replaces spikes. Yeah. So we get rid of that internal reflections in the speaker. We get great openness and clarity. Once again, we get that alignment. You turn it in and you, you uh, adjust it until the logo's front and back, and we get that same openness and clarity again. Okay. So what happens if um, the room has got carpet in it? Ah, uh, we've got a, a caster, a, sorry, a coaster that goes underneath it with three spikes on it. Okay. So we can get a good solid footing under that as well. Yeah. And this will come in three sizes as well. All of our stuff is built around weight, so there's an empirical curve associated with each size. So there's three sizes for this as well. This is the largest. This is the Gaia, the Gaia 1. There's the Gaia 2 and Gaia 3 following. Okay. Again, pricing and availability on these? Again, this will be available in November, and this is the, uh, geared towards the hi-fi market. So this would be, uh, they'll come in packages of four, it'll be about $600 for the package of four, and then cheaper for the smaller units as well. Hmm. Seems pretty exciting. Thanks for that. Thank you, Paul.